Hello ladies and gentlemen, Spirit of the Law here. I know I have a ton of viewer questions to answer, but this is something I was curious about and have never heard brought up before, which is my favorite kind of question to investigate. I was curious if distance affects archer accuracy of non-moving targets. I decided to test it out with archers various distances away from target units and see if accuracy is always the same or if they miss more often when the unit is further away. Seems easy enough. I chose the archers to be the elite longbowmen for the Britons because it's a popular archer unit, the Britons don't get thumb ring, and probably most importantly, they have a naturally long range so I can get a good idea of any trends that are happening. These samurai have been given lots of pierce armor so each arrow impact does 1 damage. They also have 10,000 health points so I can get a huge sample of shots. As you can see, at first I have the samurai various tile lengths away from some post-imperial elite longbowmen with 6 plus 6 range, and then a few others with some modified longbowmen who have 21 range. I had some overlap of the range where some 21 range longbowmen are shooting at units 12 tiles away because I wanted to see if using triggers to increase the range affected the accuracy as well. Plus 9 is the maximum that you can increase range through triggers, so that's where the 21 range comes from. It turns out that yes, a unit with 6 plus 6 and a unit with 6 plus 15 both have the same accuracy within those 12 tiles, so we don't have to worry about that. And now we have reliable data from one tile up to 21 tiles away. I'll let the setup run for a while, 10,000 shots to be precise, or 4400 years in Age of Empires time if you prefer, and I saw how much damage the samurai took relative to each other. Here is the raw data, and if you don't like what I do with it, then you're welcome to try something else. Something I noticed right away during the test was that the archers had 100% accuracy within two tiles. I'll let you know that the conventional wisdom is that the Elite Longbowman has a reported accuracy in the game files themselves of 80%. What's strange is that all the values we see here are greater than 80%. This is after 10,000 shots too, so chance shouldn't be putting much noise in the data. So now to answer the question, does accuracy depend on distance? Well statistically speaking, assuming accuracy wasn't affected by distance, there would be a 0.000000002% chance of 100 shots landing in a row at 80% accuracy. Leaving the game running at a ridiculously high speed so that the archers fire 100 times per real life second at 80% accuracy, much faster than the game can actually go, you would expect to land 1,000 shots in a row once in that simulation in this many years. In my first test here, that seems to have happened 20 times in a row. What I'm saying is we can very, very confidently rule out the idea that accuracy is the same at any distance. For all you social science kids, I'll put it this way. Bring it back now, what's the actual relationship then if it's not a constant value at 80%? This is the trend graphed with the range across the bottom and accuracy as a percentage on the left. We can see the relationship has a bit of a resemblance to a variation of the arctangent graph. We can also see where the 80% accuracy fits into all this. And our graph looks like it would go to 80% if we could increase the long wind's range indefinitely. But it's consistent that the accuracy is always above what's in the game files. If someone knows what's going on here, then you're welcome to share that in a comment, but one explanation I can offer might be that the accuracy of the archer refers to a specific point it's targeting in the middle of the unit or tile, and an elite longbowman 80% of the time fires an arrow that goes directly at that, and then the other 20% it misses somewhere within a spread of vectors. And sometimes these scripted misses that happen 20% of the time end up catching the unit anyway because the unit occupies space. If the unit is closer, then it just happens that more of the, quote, miss angles cross the unit to the point that being within two tiles is completely within the possible miss angles, but three is not. So the arrows always hit up close and you see the steep drop off past a certain point. It ends up modeling real life pretty well, since this is exactly why things are easier to shoot when they're closer in real life. Now one more question someone might have at this point is whether blacksmith techs affect the accuracy. Here we have some cavalry archers without thumb ring and they have various levels of blacksmith upgrades firing at units various lengths away. If what I'm saying is correct then I expect the same accuracy at a given distance regardless of how many range upgrades I get. So testing it again, here are the results. They're a bit messy because I only did a thousand shots this time instead of ten thousand. 
but from this we can see the blacksmith upgrades don't appear to change the accuracy consistently at any distance. So it's only the measurable distance between the archer and the target that's important. We can also compare this data to the elite longbowman and we can see that the cavalry archer does have 50% accuracy in the same way that the elite longbowman had 80%. Again, what this means for the Cavalry Archer is even though it's advertised as having 50% accuracy before thumb ring, for most of the early game you're actually getting 70% or better on non-moving units. So thumb ring isn't as good as you might expect if you did some calculations assuming 50%. Here's the takeaway. Archers have a programmed accuracy depending on the unit, but at common distances they can be 5-25% to more accurate than they're listed at and they're 100% accurate within two tiles. This is something to keep in mind when you're playing if you're using units with lower accuracy, like the Cavalry Archer and the Longbowman. So I hope something in that either interested you or was helpful. That's all for this one. Take it easy guys, and I'll see you next time.